Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins, presented by Elite Realty Group. Morning, we're going to talk about four reasons it'll pay you to sell your home early in 2018. We have seen over the last several years, we've seen a lot of changes happen in the real estate market. Right. We've seen a lot of things happen. We've seen it go from, again, a foreclosure investor market. It's it's went through changes with interest rates. It's went through changes with, again, that market leaving, another market coming in. So again, with all of those changes, we want you to keep up with what's happening and what potentially could be happening in the real estate market. So let's talk today about four reasons it'll pay you to sell your home early in 2018. The first reason, and probably one of the biggest reasons, by the way, that you need to, if you're thinking of selling your home, you need to get it on the market quickly. Right. Because here's what we tell you, two things sell houses. This isn't one of the four things. It ain't rocket science. We're gonna throw this out there, okay? Right. There's two things that sell houses, two things and two things alone, marketing, it needs to be spot on, right? right. It's got to be spot on. The second thing is is pricing. Right. Pricing has to be right. We live in the information society. People know if the house is overpriced. Right. People know, again, if, if there's bad pictures, it hurts people wanting to even come and look at your house. So, again, those things, we're going to take that as a given. Right. Marketing and price needs to be spot on. Right. But the number one reason it's going to pay you to sell your home early in 2018 is because interest rates, as we we know it. Even though they're ticking up, and we'll talk about that in a minute, yeah. they're still historically low. Yes, yes. I mean, historically low. Yeah, and once we went back and started looking at this, we didn't realize how historically Think of this. low. Do you got that in Yeah, okay, okay. Let me give you some. Now, let take me give a you listen to this. Here, okay? Yes. I, I'm going back to 1981. All right, okay? and coming this way. And right? coming this way, yeah. okay? 1981, interest rates went for that year, right. they went from 14.8% Think of that. to 18.63. Think of that. Could you imagine paying that right to now 18. for a house? No. Who, yeah. who, nobody would buy a house. That's exactly Nobody right. would buy a house. That's exactly what right. What got us on this is my dad was talking about this the other day, and, and I was like, no right. way interest rates was that high. And he right. said, yes. So that's 1981. Let's go 10 years ahead, 1991. Right. 8.35 right. to 9.75. Uh huh, right. Still really high, okay? Right. Yep. 2001, 6.45 to 7.24. Yeah. Okay, wow. 2011, 3.91 to 5.05. Look, though. Check that out. In what, 20 years? Yeah. yeah. Check that out. In 20 years, it went from 18.63 to 3.91. Right. Okay. Right. Now, we started out this year. We started out a little bit above the 3.9 and the 4.9. Yeah, we were just right? real low. We was, depending on who you talk to, 3.9 to 4.5, right. something like that. Yeah. And But what we've already saw this year is that rate's ticking up. You know, that rate is slowly ticking up yes. and it's going to tick up in the five. It's going to get up in the fives. Yeah. It's yeah. going to happen before the end of the year. Now, here's why you need to sell now is because the higher that interest rate goes, the less that people that's looking for a house can afford. Can afford. So again, that's going to drop who can potentially buy or your house can qualify for. It's going to take buyers out of the market. Because what they can buy right now, later on in the year, a lot of people's waiting to spring. Don't wait to spring. No, no, no. Now is the time for you to, again, get your house out there. And if you're going to have to turn around and buy. Yes. <laughs> you want the to do same it now. thing applies That's to you. That's exactly right. You want to sell yours while it's low. Yes. And you're going to find out another reason here in a minute because of inventory. But you're also going to have, if you have to turn around and buy something. That's right. You're going to get a lower payment That's too exactly because of the interest right. rates. There is no doubt about it. So the number one thing we're going to tell you today, four reasons it'll pay you, it will pay you to sell your home early in 2018 is because rates are historically low, which means that's bringing, drawing buyers into the market. As that rate ticks up, what people can afford is going to, again, slide right out the door as those rates go up. So that's the number one reason. What do you got for number two? Number two, I just throw a, a big bone out there, okay? It's the inventory. Yes. Inventory, inventory, inventory. We have harped on this for gold. a long time now. It is gold right now. But in a nutshell, there's more buyers than there are people yes. selling. Just that's, that's, exactly that's right. the obvious fact. But 
So for a seller, that's great. Great. You know, that is great. That's why you want to sell early. Because, yeah, you are, you can be very picky, very cheap. You're in control. Point. Buyers, you're in control. You know, yeah. <laughs> it is definitely. We, for the buyers, hey, it's going to make you be a whole lot more aggressive in right. your offers. You have to. You're going to see a whole lot more. We've said this, you know, numerous times. You're going to see a whole lot more multiple offer situations, right. highest and best, bidding wars, yes. all that stuff. Again, if it's priced right, marketed right. You're gonna have you're gonna have multiple offers. You're gonna have bid yeah. wars. You're gonna have all that. Interesting fact that I saw when we was looking this up. This is, goes back to November of 2017, so just a right. couple months back. But the NAR National Association right. of Realtors, uh, a surprising fact, I guess. Twenty two percent of home sales was cash. Right. So yeah. that's even knocking a lot of them first time buyers out. Yes, it is. But that just shows you how competitive the market yep. is when you got 22% of the homes being sold, which was up 20% from the month before. Right, right. Uh, our October was 20%, November was 22%. 22, so it was up 2%. People, yeah. yeah. Buying, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cash. awesome. So again, inventory is tight. Inventory is tight. We're telling everybody right now your expectations on selling your house. Everybody asks us, how long is it going to tell you? How long is it going to take you to sell our house? Well, there's a lot of things that go into that equation. But however, this is what we can say to you. This is what we can look at you and say with a fact. Houses that are priced right and marketed right in right now, they're yes. selling in hours and days, right. not months and years. Yes. It will not take you very long at all. You're going to know. The market will tell you quicker than anything right now if you've got your house right. Right. If people's not coming and looking, again, you're not getting the inquiries about your house. One of those two things are wrong. Yes. So take it, take a step back, take a deep breath, look at that, look over it with your realtor, whatever your situation is, and see what you could do to get those people. So that's number two. Inventory remains tight. If you've got a listing, you've got gold right now. So that's number two. Number three is, again, Again, the reason you want to begin to sell early, it'll pay you early to sell in 2018. Number three is home prices are still increasing. They're still going up. They're still going up. Home prices continue to rise. But here's the thing why we're telling you to go now. The gains that are predicted this year by the economists and the people that watch this a whole lot more than we do, the National Association of Realtors, last year, the house prices in the year alone grew about 5.5%. Last year. Year over year, they grew about 5.5%. This year, they're pre predicting that to be right around 3 Right. So what you don't want to do is get to the top of the market and accidentally fall off the other side, right? right, right. You don't want to be on that curve that begins to go when the prices begin to turn and either stabilize or go back down the other side. Right. Because as they say, what goes up must come down. Exactly. It's going to happen. Exactly. We are in a good market right now, but this market's going to turn. When's that going to turn? We don't know. We don't have a clue about that at this point in time. It's still a good market. But it's going to take a turn. Is that this year? Who knows? Is that five years right. from now? Right. We don't know. But you want to get in early on this now because the prices are still well, in your favor. Why do you know favor. it's good? Get in on it. Yes. You know? They're <laughs> still, wait. still in your favor right now. So that is number three. What do you got for number four? Uh, number four. All right. People have more money in their pockets. That's true. What, what's that mean? <laughs> well, that's, what's that mean? People have more money in their pockets. Unemployment's at an all-time low. Think of that. Stock markets are at an all-time high. Yes. So th this tax reform thing that's going on, mm -hmm. people's getting more income taxes it's back. Happening. So it's happening. People's yeah. got a little money in their it's pockets. Again, unemployment rate, all those things, again, that you said, there's pe more people working now. Things are happening. People are feeling good about their finances. That's just a, that's just right. a fact of right. the matter. So again, with people with more money, you again, a lot of people. We, we we see all the time that it's predicted that this is the year that millennials, the younger generation, right. that's been waiting to their thirty five and forty and forty plus buying that first house, they're starting to get into this market. Right. With those coming into the market and the first time buyers hitting the market and beginning to buy those houses, that makes the move up buyers. People that's already been the first time, they begin to move up. Then the move ups move up and it affects the whole market. We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. 
Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.